Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you a little bit about my hobbies and one of them is sewing. Um, I do love to sew. Um, in the first instance I wanted to show you something that I'm working on today and that is reupholstering a footstool. So let me just show you. So, let me just turn that around. Okay, so this is a footstool that I've um, that I've had for a few years now and um, the fabric over, over time has um, sort of disintegrated so you can see here the fabric's all sort of busted and you know got some coffee stains here and you know pretty much it's just all kind of busted right so I need to change it now um, you can see around here that these are the studs that are holding the fabric in place okay and I've started already removing the studs so you can see there's a whole bunch of them are here and um, I'm using a combination of um, a screwdriver, pliers, um, a hammer and the claw but you'll need the hammer later on in order to um, hammer these um, studs back into place. So I've pretty much, well almost at the end and I'm just going to remove all the studs and then I'm going to remove this fabric here and yeah, as you can see. I'll remove the top layer of this fabric and then I'll replace it with um, with this fabric here which I got in uh, Dalston Market it's um it's supposed to be African wax print and it is wax print but it's definitely not African wax print this stuff is made in China um, if you know anything about um, African uh, print that the good quality stuff You'd have to pay quite a bit of money for it so this is six i think this is about six yards and um you know you can tell by the name already that this is not a recognized um manufacturer of african wax print uh fabric uh this is made in china cheaply and imported cheaply and this is one of the problems that we have in um you know a lot of african countries where um you know the the sort of fabric industry has been destroyed because you know governments or whoever the officials are keep letting in fake imports of chinese um made and printed fabrics into the country so i'll tell you a little bit more about that history later on if if you are interested but anyway so this i just bought cheaply because i knew i wasn't going to do anything particularly fancy with it i knew it was always going to be used as something more or less scrap material but um i realized that since i need to to that I might as well just use this because this is easier uh, this is like cheap and you know my feet are only on this so um, and you can tell as well by the quality of some of this stuff that look here you've got the dye has you know not been um, dyed on properly and you have to be careful with these cheap um, versions of African wax print and and the reason you have to be careful is that a lot of the time they don't use color safe dye so some of the dye can be poisonous um, and it could cause you reactions um, and in many instances will fade very very quickly after a couple of washes but since this is never going to be washed it's only for my feet or my footstool it doesn't really matter but anyway I'll just um, continue removing the studs and then I'm going to re-sew a new cover using my trusted sewing machine okay so I'll, I'll finish that up and then I'll be back Right, so I've taken off all of the fabric, all of the studs, and here's the uh, the original fabric, as you can see. So I've taken that off, um, and this is a cushion that you can see that's sitting on top of the the platform, the wood platform. And these bits of um, stuffing are the ones that were sort of sitting along the side to buffer against any sort of um, hardness from the wood when you're putting your feet on there. Okay, so what I'm going, now going to do is I'm going to measure out this um, fabric against this one so that we get an exact um, size match. Um, you could just do it the other way. Rather than using this as your guide, you could just um, use the actual wood platform here to guide you. But just do it this way if, if you're not familiar with how to do these types of things. So, okay. So I'll just uh, measure that and then I'll show you. Rightio, so here we are. Rightio, <laughs> I'm an Australian. Um, okay, so I've cut out the, the fabric. I've used the cushion as my guide rather than um, use the old fabric, to be honest, because 
I just prefer to do it this way but you know it's entirely up to you how you do this so I'm now going to hem around these parts here um, just to neaten off the the edges there and then I will continue with the rest okay right so I've now finished um, sewing this and sewing the edges uh, so that you know you get the the corners to go around the edge of the stool so um, I hope you can see this properly I probably should have done it step by step but this was it's just a very simple thing that I'm just doing it's not it's not complicated at all but if you want I can do a step by step guide on how you do this but well it's a little bit difficult to sew and hold the camera but anyway okay so here you can see that the edges are a little bit um, you know I haven't finished off the edges right here and uh, the reason I haven't is because um, I don't really see the point because I'm just going to tuck the the corners in and then I'm going to um, use the um, what are those things called the studs to um, just fold over so that you won't see these um, uneven edges but you know it's up to you if you decide that you want to complete the edges but I just couldn't be bothered so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this on top of here it's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this with my left hand but anyway um, so like so on the other side okay and so on like that okay so there you have it it's covered on all sides all right and then I'm just going to tack it in and I'll show you the end product I can't hold the camera at the same time as um, you know use the hammer and the tacks together but you know we're nearly towards the end so uh, yeah right so here is the finished product it's uh, <sighs> took me a little bit of time um, got some bulgy bits here I uh, just need to neaten that up um, when I tack um, the ends in but you know overall not bad um, and a splash of colour um, you know can actually help brighten up any room so if, uh, if you've got the time and the patience I would suggest you try it uh, this is just a little bit of um, stuffing from an old pillow so I just use that to to add extra stuffing into here just to pad it out a little bit more but yeah that's um that's my project so yeah, any questions please let me know uh, let me know what you think as well cheers bye